But GE's out. And uh, GE stock looks like it's up a little bit. Um, it's uh, posting better than expected, both uh, earnings adjusted of six cents, which uh, I think the street was looking for a loss of four cents. Also, uh, the estimate for revenue in the quarter was 18.725. And it looks like it was $19.42 billion. And then uh, it's not exactly the same company in terms of makeup that, uh, that it used to be. We know that now as a $7 stop. But uh, GE Capital revenue, uh, $1.68 billion. Aviation, you would think um, you know, it's a great business, but been affected by a lot of uh, headwinds recently, 4.92. A billion healthcare companies still there, 4.57 billion. Um, the, the continuing operations, there was a loss, but uh, if you factor out uh, the items, uh, you do see uh, that six cent adjusted profit, even though organic orders uh, fell 28% uh, total orders of 15.5 billion was down 31%, but the stock had been down uh, the last couple of sessions, and it is uh, back a little bit uh, this morning. Go ahead, Beck. Uh, Joe, I was just going to add, it, it's some of the stuff that they're talking about with the fourth quarter that might be helping. They say they're on track with cost and cash, cash actions, and they see fourth quarter industrial free co cash flow of at least $2.5 billion. They also are talking about how they see industrial free cash flow turning positive in 2021, too. That stock's up by about 2.4%. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.